Valentino giving me suits, gangsters. Bronze Capo. I'm respectfully checking back in, Discretion TV. We doing this because Yaki Gaddafi never had a proper investigation for his homicide. Never had a proper review for his homicide. There wasn't YouTubers back then. You understand? Get the book. Shout out to Yasmin Fula for this book. This book is like the doctrines of what's been missing in hip hop. If you have been following my live streams last month and also my videos on the review that I've been doing on this book, you will see that Napoleon left out a lot about Rashad. When you read the book, the detectives asked one of the elders, the actual police report, Essex County Prosecutor's Office, one of the elders, Brenda Turner, she was age 40 at the time. Her name was Brenda Turner. She gave a statement about Roddy, AKA Rashad Clark, the one who murdered Gaddafi. The detectives asked, do you know how Rashad supports his daughter? And she says, Rashad gets social security from both his deceased parents. Rashad doesn't support his daughter. I pay $100 for her to go to the doctors. Sometimes he buys pampers. You see, Napoleon, he leaves out the fact that Rashad was a deadbeat dad. He talks about they popping pills. He talks about, you know, a whole this fluff to cover up the homicide that happened up in Orange, New Jersey. Right? All this fluff. And he never mentions Rashad was a deadbeat dad. Now, this is the hallway where they claim the area that Gaddafi was killed. If you know this story, we does this because Gaddafi never got a proper review. This is his girlfriend, LaVe Johnson. When you read the book, she left a lot of statements. She said she called Roddy's house and Roddy brother Sharif picked up the phone and Sharif said, Roddy said it was an accident. You understand? But then Roddy said he doesn't remember LaVe calling the motherfucking house. We does this because Gaddafi never got a proper review, y'all. Let's get back to the book. So... Napoleon left out the fact that not only that Roddy was a deadbeat dad, a, a scum bucket, he never had money until after Yacht got murdered. The detectives asked, Did you accompany your daughter Samara to the office? On Monday evening, November 18th, for her to render a sworn statement regarding the shooting? She said yes. Did you give me your consent to take that statement? She said yes. Does Samara work? Samira work? Excuse my French. Samira or Samara, however you pronounce it. Does she work? Not now. Roddy told her that she didn't need to work. He was going to give her $25 a week. Question. How recently was it that Roddy told Samara that she didn't have to work when you read the book? She answered. Um, after she got her first paycheck from her job at Roy Rogers in Livingston, New Jersey. It was the first Monday after the shooting. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Napoleon doesn't tell you that Roddy told his girl after the motherfucking shooting, you could quit your job at Roy Rogers. Brenda Turner said all this took place after the shooting. 
I saw a big change in Nuni, who is Sam Samira Samira's nickname, Nuni. If you read the book, you'll know. All that I know is that she got money today. Like it was no problem. It's right here in black and white. Napoleon don't tell y'all that. He doesn't tell y'all that. He never said that Roddy, the murder of Gaddafi, told his baby moms she didn't have to work no more after the murder. And he was a deadbeat dad and he never had, he wasn't giving her money till after the murder. Where was he getting the money from? You know, my last review, Trollers got mad because, you see, Trollers got mad that Napoleon said, like my cousin said, we was kids when we murdered Gaddafi. Right? And Trollers got mad that I made a topic that Napoleon got caught up in a slip up y'all got mad and not even knowing why y'all mad because in the same interview Napoleon is saying him and Roddy don't talk about that no more or if not this same interview an interview and I'm going to play the clip he talks about him and Roddy not talking about this shit no more. No, I, re I really, I wasn't. Yeah. I'm, I think it might have been a plea bargain, man. Unfortunately, I'm not, I, re I really, I wasn't too familiar with what was happening with the trial and stuff. It like sounded like it. You know, my cousin told me it was an accident. I never really, you know, because it was hard for me. I never sat down with him really and besides that day and talked to him about it. You know what I mean? And really, you know, because it was hard for me. I never sat down with him really and besides that day and talked to him about it. I never sat down with him really and besides that day and talked you know to him I mean? about and it. Since he's been home and the times I've been around him, I never brung it up again. Home. And the times I've been around him, I never brung it up again. Home. So if you're and saying... the times I've been around him, I never brung it up again. Like my cousin said, we was kids? That means y'all motherfuckers are still talking about this shit. So what else are you lying about 26 years plus later? 21 gun salute? No, I, re I really, I wasn't. Yeah, I'm, I think it might have been a plea bargain, man. Unfortunately, I'm not. I, re I really, I wasn't too familiar with what was happening with the trial and stuff. It like sounded like it. You know, my cousin told me it was an accident. I never really, you know, because it was hard for me. I never sat down with him really, and besides that day, and talked to him about it. You know what I mean? And really, you know, because it was hard for me. I never sat down with him really, and besides that day, and talked to him about it. I never sat down with him really, and besides that day, and talked to him about it. Happened. You know, they was kids. They ran off you know, and left in the hallway. And it was just like, you know, it was, it was just hard to believe the whole accident thing. Cause you know, when, when it happened, you know, there was kids, they ran off, you know, and left. So when the girls opened the, heard the shot and opened the door, you know, he was just, he was there. You know what I mean? Like my, my, like my little cousin said, we was kids. He right. said, when I, when we shot him, that's, I didn't know what to do. That's the first time no, I ever shot somebody. Of course they gonna run, no doubt, so no doubt. So he panicked and ran. You know what I mean? Immediately like, though, when yeah. we get on the phone, you know, I'm like, who did it all this? Sh you know, like Napoleon cousin. It was just, it was crazy. He get on the phone immediately, like the same, probably the same day, he wound up getting in touch with his cousin and immediately was telling him to turn himself in. Yeah. It was yeah, just I like. I went to Jersey. No, I remember you, you, I remember you actually Jersey. got on the phone yeah. with him too, though, yeah. at the house. Yeah, you probably don't maybe, remember, maybe, bro. You know, we were just talking about that. <laughs> you know, he used to drink yeah, every day, man. A lot of Hennessey stuff. Hennessy be catching up, Hennessey, man. Hennessy, man. Stealing some memories yeah. from we, me. We, since we've just back, been back connected, we talking yeah, about a lot yeah, of different yeah. things. He's like, I can't remember the Hennessy, but. I don't remember that. Man. I remember he wound up talking to his cousin at, yeah. when we was yeah. at the house on the phone. Yeah. And, you know, you was telling him to turn himself in. But that scenario was like, um. It was the worst case scenario it was a nightmare. ever it was, you could think about. You yeah. got to think, he loved Gaddafi. Gaddafi was, um, w was, was my family as well. He was, you know, and it split us up. That's when Fatal left the group. Fatal called. He wanted to beef with uh, him. Fatal was looking for it, his cousin. It, it was difficult. It was like, it, it definitely when I mean, like that period yeah. was the worst ever. 
But you know, um, rest in peace, yeah. Gaddafi, man. That's our brother, man. And and, and it was it, even his cousin. He was kids. He had to go. He got locked up. How long he did? It's like yeah, eight, eight, nine years, years man. Eight, eight, it was like right. so the it worst was, case man, scenario. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, Gaddafi had two girls pregnant at the time. Yeah. He got two daughters that was born. He didn't even know it he was had. A sad situation. It was definitely. like the worst scenario you could ever think of, man. And even you know from I mean? his mother, like, see, there's a lot of things that can make it point that can even put me in the situation from the outside looking in to where people would question where was my loyalty you know one Qaddafi is my brother literally like i knew Qaddafi since i was seven eight years old so i feel he was my brother my cousin roddy we was raised as brothers you understand so for me at that particular time i'm looking how can we defuse this situation because it pretty much was going to be a war you know people from yeah. Qaddafi hood people from my hood when I went back home, I seen everybody strapping up people yeah. from Gaddafi hood, calling my grandmother house. And I'm threatening from Gaddafi hood. You like, know what I mean? They was looking for his cousin at the time. And All the homies. It yeah, was, and it, it was, was going, going to go. Down. It, it could have went down. It you was know? going so down, man. I was going to go to the funeral, and Gaddafi mother, um, she called one day. Was like, "Don't go to the funeral. I think it's going to be problems." Right. But me, it's hurting because this is my friend and, right. and the coach. If you don't go to the funeral, that's going to. My cousin did it. Then I don't show up to the funeral. It's gonna even look worse. One of my problems. homies. This is when I. This when I came. At first, I was gonna go, but this when I decided not to go. When one of my friends said, "No, we're gonna go to the funeral. Anybody say something to you, we're gonna pull out the gun and walk on my side." And I'm like, "How can I have this? <laughs> yeah, this right, ignorant that. stuff? Literally at the funeral of my homie." Yeah. So I said, "You know what? I'm just. I'm not gonna. I'm. A, I'm gonna sit back." And then that even came. Oh, you didn't come to the funeral. Mm -hmm. It is, but I, crazy, my intentions, man. and I know the reason why I didn't go. But it, the whole situation was terrible. It was, I, it was I'm a great decision. Yeah. It. It, it, it was, it was decision. something would have definitely happened. But yeah. that whole scenario, man, it was, it was just, it was, it was devastating it was sad, for everybody, yeah. man. Even to this day, you know what I mean? It's yeah. just talking about it. Yeah. It's, it's just, you know, I mean, it's like at the end of the day, you know, um, it was Napoleon's cousin. He 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 talked to him. And it was like it's an accident, but it's like you know. Qaddafi mom and you know his family and you know uh, it's like nobody was we wasn't if you're not there to see it you know what I'm saying to say oh this was actually an accident you know, only God knows somebody's intentions in their heart you know what I'm saying so yeah. it was just like it was just but crazy me man. knowing my cousin right <laughs> I don't know if you're trying to say he did it no I'm not trying to say that <laughs> purpose I'm not trying to say he did it on purpose I'm saying that no, at the end of the day let him tell his side. Exactly. Nobody ever exactly. heard him come and, out and, and say, look, "This was my intention." Perspective. Yeah, he didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? We loved Mu. We loved his brothers. Period. We had accepted them as family, so it wasn't like we was gonna put him out on the street like that. Family nah. always had love. It always. You know what and, I mean? and let's be clear: yeah. people and was that, trying to get us to turn on him absolutely. at this time yeah. on a daily you know basis. Saying? Like absolutely. it was that crazy. Now, like y'all mom was like, like, very upset. You know what I'm saying? It was a bad situation. She still felt like because this is a woman that was a part of the family for years, you know what I'm saying? And was friends with all of our mothers, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, and it was almost like, I always say she's almost responsible for him being in the group. She is. Because yeah. she was the one that came to Pac and told Pac his story. And used to... Uh, Valentino giving me suits, gangsters.